Hey guys, today I'm back with another tech review video reviewing the EVGA XR1 Lite Capture Card. This is my first introduction with using capture cards and I thought no better reason than to use it for my channel. Getting started with the unboxing, we are given one USB-C to USB-A 3.0 cable, an HDMI 2.0 cable, as well as the capture card itself. All the included cables and the device itself are built well and do not feel cheap or flimsy. The XR1 has some weight to it, but it's not too bulky at all. The back of the XR1 also mentions how it is certified for OBS, which is a free popular recording slash streaming software, but I'm sure it works with other softwares as well. Included in the box is also a good manual that explains how the setup is configured, as well as the technical specifications of the XR1. The capture card can take a 4K resolution with 60 frames per second source and successfully pass that through to a monitor, but it can only capture up to 1080p resolution at 60 frames which is more than good for our uses. You can see now that I'm setting up the physical configurations and making sure everything is wired correctly. I also went ahead and made another diagram of what everything looks like and what it does once it's wired correctly because I know it looks like a mess on the desk. Quick note, if you're using a USB hub for your computer, you might run into some issues. Mine wasn't working, so I had to swap it out. The Steam Deck dock I'm using is from JSOX with an Xbox controller plugged in and I'm running the dock to a 1080p 60 frame monitor. So once it's set up, all you have to do is turn on OBS, add a video and audio source, which should be named something like EVGA, then you're good to go. You'll have OBS showing whatever you want to capture, while the monitor will be what you play off of, as it will have no audio or input delays. The first game I'm going to show you is Sonic Mania. Regardless of what your console is running at, you will have to set OBS to capture your desired resolution and frames. I started with recording at 720p at 30fps. Once you hit start and then stop record, your video will auto save onto your computer, but you can always change the folder it saves to. You'll see here that I went into the settings in OBS to then change the resolution to 108060 with some gameplay to follow. Now let it be known that what I see on the monitor looks great, but then it made me wonder why the captured recording seems a little blurry. I then went into the settings and saw that you can adjust the recording quality. It changes from a small file size and low quality to a large file size but great quality. So I changed it over to what OBS calls indistinguishable quality, and that made the recording look leagues better.
last game I wanted to show was Spider-Man Remastered. So we're now hopping from a non-resource intensive 2D platformer to a pretty large AAA game. I will be the first to admit that the Steam Deck does not run these games as well as a dedicated PC or console would. It is playable 100%, but it is not the prettiest thing to look at. That being said, I did show in my last video how this game looks in handheld mode and it does look way better, but that's also due to it running on a smaller screen. I am running the game on the same settings as the last video, mix of medium and high, and recording at both 720 and 1080p. But you'll see here that I didn't notice much of a difference, let me know if you guys did. An assault, I better step in. Try hitting me! Spoiler, I hit back. So what are my final thoughts? I think this device is well worth the money. It goes for about $100 on Amazon and it's well worth the quality as well. I'm going to primarily use this for recording, but it can also be used for streaming screens, having a camera used as a webcam, recording audio inputs, and so much more. That rooftop I would recommend this for any beginner or intermediate individuals who want to get into streaming or recording. It's easy to use, has great tutorials if you run into issues, and produces great quality. Compared to other capture devices, it does cap recording at 1080 60, but it also comes at a much lower price point than something like the Elgato HD 60X, which caps recording at 4K 30. Well, that was my review of the EVGA XR1 light capture card. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you think it's worth the price for what you can get out of it? Also, let me know if you like this new recording setup for my videos. I plan on showing both handheld and docked footage of games so we can really see the difference between how screen size can affect the game. As always, thank you guys for watching, it really does mean a lot. Please like the video and subscribe, but you know, or don't, I don't control you.